we are busy um, with maths literacy. My name is Lebohang. Thank you um, to our sponsor Liberty for helping us reach you guys out there. Okay, so we are still busy with revision. We're doing revision all the way until you guys get this. Okay, and then until you finish your prelims and you reach your success. So in this particular question that we have been given now, um, it is a question about taxation. Another challenging um, concept, but once you have it, you have it. And the only way to have it is through practice, practice, and more practice. So we are given um, a tax bracket table. And one thing that you need to be super careful about is that you do not cram it. Just like um, with your tariffs, do not cram the tables. You will get a different table every single year. So SARS will give you a different table um, in different years. So don't cram it, but the tables are similar to each other. Let's go and look at the table that we have been given. So the table that we have here says that rates of tax for individuals. So in this particular one, it's for the 2017 tax year from March 2016 all the way to February um, 2017. We've got our tax bracket yet again, tax brackets yet again on the size um, over there. Those are our tax brackets. So whenever you are asked which tax bracket does this person um, fall under, that's what they mean in terms of that. And then we've got our taxable income. Taxable income means um, according to that person's annual salary, which bracket do they fall under? So if that person was getting anything um, between zero rand, and in this case they're speaking about rands, anything between zero rand and 188 rand, um, then that's, this person would be taxed 18% um, of that taxable income. One note, side note that I'm going to put that is super duper um, important is that you cannot, <laughs> you cannot calculate income tax or tax payable um, if it's not annual, okay? And it's annual of the gross. So what do you do? You take that monthly amount if you are given a monthly amount. Sometimes you'll be lucky enough um, and you'll be given um, an annual amount. And if you're given an annual amount, beautiful. You just take it and plug it in um, and see how that works. But if you're given a monthly amount, you need to take the monthly amount and you need to multiply it by 12 and then put it in. Otherwise, all of it is going to fall in the first tax bracket. So you take the monthly amount, you multiply it, annually which is 12 because we've got 12 months in a year so you multiply that by 12 um, and then it will give you where the bracket falls under let's see so we've got all of that and then we also have our formulas i call this a formula because you use it exactly as it is i'll show you guys how to do that and the next thing in terms of this is tax rebates what is a tax rebate a tax rebate is a tax refund so whatever that you are getting back from SARS um, is called a tax rebate which is a tax refund so mostly if you need to use it they will put it in so it's not something that you cram and it also changes from year to year to year so there's a primary tax rebate a secondary tax rebate and a tertiary tax rebate so primary rebate everyone qualifies for a primary rebate. A secondary rebate, normally they'll tell you if you're 65 years and older, you qualify for a secondary rebate. Like I said, everyone qualifies for the primary rebate, meaning that you would qualify for the primary rebate plus the secondary rebate. So if I am sitting here and I'm 35 years old, it means I'm below 65. That means I'll only qualify for the primary rebate. I'll only get back what is in the primary rebate. But if I'm 65 and older, I qualify for the primary rebate plus the secondary rebate. And then if I'm 75 years and older, I qualify for all three rebates, meaning I would get the primary rebate plus the secondary rebate plus the third one, which is the tertiary rebate. I'm just sitting here trying to remember all these words. You don't have to remember all these words because they are given to you. I've analyzed my table. Let's go now and read the questions um, that are required of us. So it says to us over here, 
Lebohang is a 37-year-old sales rep representative in a pharmaceutical company earning a gross monthly salary of 13,200 rand. You see now, they're telling us that this person is 37 years old. That age is relevant. We're not being told the age for nothing. We're being told that age so that we know, okay, that Lebohang is going to probably qualify for the primary rebate. Beautiful. So the age matters. And then a monthly salary of 13,200 rand. Let's look at the questions um, that we are being asked. The first question says to us, determine Lebohang's annual gross salary. Annual means yearly. It's just a fancy word for yearly. So if English is not um, your mother tongue, Hold that. Hold on to that. Annual means yearly. So let's go and calculate that. We've got 12 months in a year. So I'm just going to write that down. So this person is earning 13,200 rand. And we want to know the annual income. Thirteen thousand two hundred times 12 yearly is 158,400 158,400 let's just make sure that's that correct stunning so that is annually stunning we've got that that is two marks you've got your two marks sometimes i find that learners will look at the two marks and just give me the answer don't do that, okay? Show you're working out. Show how you got the answer. Don't just give the answer, especially if it's two marks. If it's one mark, I can understand you just giving me the answer. I want to see you're working out, and then I want to see your answer. So you can get all your two marks. UIF, which is the Unemployment Insurance Fund. Guys, it's super important for you to know um, what all these stand for you know sometimes they'll ask you what pay stands for you pay p-a-y-e it's very important for you to know those things so in this particular case we've been given what uif stands for but please know what it is because you can be asked what uif stands for uif constitutes two percent of the gross salary another thing what is the gross salary Gross salary is the salary that you get before deductions. It's not your take home. It's what you get before deductions. It's what you're signing for in the contract. So we, we know now that the UIF constitutes 2% of the gross salary. 1% is paid by the employer. So 1% is paid by whoever that is employing you. And then the other 1% is paid by you, the employee. Determine Lebohang's monthly contribution to the UIF. So we know that Lebohang is contributing 1% of their gross salary. What is their gross salary? 13,200. So we need to find 1% of 13,200. Um, it's two marks again. So I need to show my working out. 13,200 times 1%. 1% is 1 all over 100, or you could say 13,200 times 1%. It should all give you the answer, but you need to put this 1% into the calculator. Otherwise, you lose all your marks. 13,200 times. I'm going to put it the way that I've put it in terms of that. 132. So you are if. So it means that Lebohang pays 132 rand from them. And then the employer also pays 132 rand. So meaning that whatever that is going there is going to be um, 264. Okay. Number three, Lebohang's employer pays a third of his monthly contribution, um, a third of his monthly medical aid contribution. So again, sometimes companies will pay a portion of your medical aid. So in this particular case, 
the employer pays a third of the medical aid contribution. Determine the total monthly payment towards medical aid if Lebrang's portion is going to be 1,273. Our fractions are coming into play. Fractions are a grade three thing. If not grade two, I'm not sure. So let's come and see. What do we know? We're going to move from known to unknown. So we know that the employer pays that much. So that's the employer, ne? that's their contribution. I'm just going to write the employer. They have that much in terms of that. And then we know that Lebohang, there I go spelling my own name incorrectly. So Lebohang then pays um, 1,273. Those are the two sets of information um, that we know. But if the employer is paying a third, it means that Lebohang is paying two thirds because it needs to sum up. It has to be three over three in the end. Okay? So what do we want to know? We want to know how much um, the employer is going to be. So let's do this. I want to do this. I'm going to put that third there so that I've got fractions and fractions and then I'm going to say there I am trying to figure out um, the amount so I want to know how much the employer is going to be paying okay so what am I going to do I'm going to use cross multiplication because that's my favorite method and it always works out um, for me cross multiplication says to me um, that I'm going to I'm going to multiply those two that exist with each other and then I'm going to divide with this one because that's the one that I cannot use. So it's going to be a third times 1,273. Then I'm going to divide that entire number over there. Looks funky, doesn't it? Looks very funky. But I'm going to put it on my calculator because... I've got a brilliant, oh, we need, so let's do that and just put that in, very big, ne? there we go, so it's going to be a third times 1,273 all over another fraction at the bottom there, two over three. Please know how to use your calculators, guys. That's important, okay? 636 and 50 cents. 636, gonna put that up again. I think it's 50 cents, yes it is. And 50 cents. And this is correct. Why am I saying it's correct? Because the employer is paying a smaller portion over there. If you look at it, the employer is paying a smaller portion than Lebohang. So I would be expecting them to be paying that 636. It needs to make sense um, to you guys. Stunning! Please don't panic when you have a question like this. The best thing you can ever, ever, ever do for yourself when you do have a question like this is move from known to unknown, did you see what I did there? I put down every single thing that I do know, put it down, every single thing that I don't know. Fractions with fractions, money with money, cross multiplication, marks. Okay, the next question says that we need to use the SARS table that we have been given. So it says here, Lebohang's taxable income is 153,180. Look at that. The amount has changed from the one that we calculated at the beginning. So we're going to use the one that they are giving us now. Don't be stubborn and say, but I calculated this much um, in the first question. Don't do that. Rather, take what you have been given and use that. So now they're telling us that it's 153,180. And they're saying we need to use the text table that we saw at the beginning. And it says, state, state which bracket um, Le Wuhan falls under. That's an easy two marks, guys. So it means that you just look at the money and see where it falls under. Automatically, I can already tell you. It's 152,000. 
um, so, 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 so going on. It falls under the first tax bracket um, over there. Easy peasy, ne? So it's going to be um, tax bracket number one. So the money um, that we have been given changed, like I tell, told you guys, it's 153,000. 180 therefore it's tax bracket one you see perfect so i've got that um under control my fifth question then says to me determine the rebate amount lebohang is eligible for look at that another two marks easy peasy so what do I need to know about what Lebohang qualifies for in terms of tax rebate? What I do need to know is that Lebohang is 37 years old, meaning if someone is 37 years old, they are automatically going to give um, full under primary rebate. So determine the rebate amount. So the rebate amount is going to be 13,500 rand. It means that Lebohang should be um, refunded 13,000 according to that tax bracket over there standing. Can you see how easy it is to use tax brackets? Tax brackets all look the same except for the fact that the amounts in between will definitely change. Using the tax table above, calculate Lebohang's annual taxable payable. Tax payable. <laughs> Sorry about that. So, um, according to the tax bracket table, if you looked properly, Lebohang qualifies for 18% of taxable income. So, we're going to take that money. So, we're going to say um, 153,180 which is what we were given, and we're going to multiply that with the 18% taxable income. So, 18%. And like I said to you, you can also say 18%, but if you want to say 18%, you and remember to put in the percentage in your calculator. I prefer it like this, guys. 153,180 times 18%. Perfect. That's 27,572. 27,572, I think so. Let's see. Perfect. 0.40 cents. Now we've calculated the taxable income or taxable tax payable. What do we need to remember from that? We need to remember the refund. So be super, super careful um, in terms of that. If ever someone gives you a refund, that money needs to be subtracted. Okay, so we're going to subtract that 13,500. Perfect. We subtract the 13,500 and then it's going to give us the annual um, tax payable. If they had said give us the monthly tax payable, then we were automatically going to divide that by 12. So we're going to subtract that with 13,500 because that's the rebate. I'm just going to write rebate um, on the side there. Let's go put that in. Minus 13,500. So it goes down to 14,072. 14,000. And 72, don't forget the cents, please. 40 cents. Okay, stunning. So we've got that, guys. We've got that. That is so beautiful. I love, love, love um, taxable income.